There are many games with intricate stories full of suspense, betrayal, and intrigue. But sometimes we just want to vibe in a small town where the only thing we have to worry about is raccoon businessmen. That sentiment is reflected in many of the top games in our space. Winter Memories, Kaiju Princess, Summertime Saga. All of these games give players a slice of life experience with a focus on building relationships, just like Animal Crossing. Could you imagine how much more fun Nintendo would be if Bowsette was in charge? Given how popular this genre is, there are many games that explore it, but there are very few that capture the essence of what makes this such a popular flavor. Summer Clover is one of those games. From the same developer that gave us 2022's Happiness Double Room, Summer Clover is an incredibly well-polished, cohabitational sandbox. The pacing is good, the animations are amazing, and the soundtrack has this interesting anime meets cozy Nintendo feel, which you can actually listen to on Spotify. As with most games in this genre, each day is broken into segments where you are given the choice on how you want to spend it. Well, since you are in charge of maintaining the house, you are required to cook for every evening. But other than that, your day is open to explore the world, earn money, and endear yourself to the various love interests. A surprising part of Summer Clover is that it doesn't end once you have gained full affection with all their romanceable characters. There is a whole second half where additional locations, activities, and romantic events become available. How long does all of this take? If you want to see all of the endings, you're probably looking at at least 20 hours. There's also a gallery where you can revisit all of the major events in the game, as well as all of the romantic interactions. The only real weakness is that the story is kind of lacking, but to be fair, that is more of a problem with this genre than it is with this game. I mean, think about the storylines in Summertime Saga, Winter Memories, or Animal Crossing. We're not really playing these games for that reason. Overall, it is easy to see why Summer Clover has been the breakout summer hit for 2024 on Steam. I highly recommend it to anyone looking to explore these very popular flavors. Now we'll just have to see if we get a sequel like we did for Summer Memories. Wait, does Clover even grow in the winter? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming.